Howdy, this is Terry, and I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Don't forget to click that like button and look at the description of this video. I have all kinds of links, and on my homepage, you'll see a bunch of playlists for how I lost my weight. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I'm going to start making the, the calico beans. So to get started with that, I in the past, I have used the... Um, pre-cooked bacon and I've used the bacon pieces so that you can do it all kinds of ways but I'm going to want breakfast later so I'm going to go ahead and fry up bacon. This is thin sliced bacon so I'm going to go on and lay this out and then once I do that it looks like it's kind of very very thin so it's going to be not easy to do so I'll get back to you when I get this all laid out. Note to future Terry, don't buy thin bacon. That stuff's a hot mess. All right, so I got my bacon in there, and I've got a bacon press. I'm just going to put it on there and let my bacon cook. And, um, yeah, so I'll move it around. I'll kind of shift it around and as time goes on, but I'm going to get my bacon cooked between. I got Big Bertha and a bacon press. I don't know if you can see the smoke coming out of there my smoke detector just went off so I, I don't know I may have told y'all I have a smoke detector that's in my hallway well it's been there for 12 years and it's never it's never beeped so a while ago I thought mm, I had my nephew test it and it worked kind of but then it just we even changed batteries but the other, uh, several a couple months ago I did some and I did a whole bunch of cooking and there was smoke everywhere. So it should have went off. So I pushed the button and it didn't go off. So I have, I bought this and I just set this up on top of my refrigerator. And because uh, it don't have to be mounted anywhere, you know, it's not a requirement. So I just have it sitting up there. And because of this, my bacon got a little hot. It was just going off. Like, oh, mind your business, smoke detector, mind your business. So next we're supposed to use one medium onion. Well, I don't, that's going to be about enough for me. There's going to be kids and, you know, little kids see things and they're like, is that onion in there? So, um, but you saw, I saute up my onion. So I'm using the bacon grease and I'm going to saute up this onion. And that's, then we will cook our ground beef. So I'm going to saute up this onion and I'll get back to you. Y'all know when it's not my when it's my food, I'm not this obsessively clean. But I'm cooking for other folks, so I want to make sure I do the right thing. Um, this is let's see, this is about half pound of fried bacon. I'm gonna just kind of smush it up. And you break it up into it. You can chop it up. You do however you want to. I just put on some gloves. I'm gonna kind of break it up a little bit. Some of these pieces are. Um, you know, not fully, not a, they're more the fatty pieces, so it's going to be chunky. But that's okay, because, you know, when you get all the food and stuff in there and stir it up a few times. Yes, I am putting a plastic liner in here. Don't lecture me, because I don't care. Because I don't think the people where I'm going care either. But they will see the plastic liner, so if they do care, they won't use it. All right, so I use two cans of drained kidney beans. So I bought the light red kidney beans. I drained them. And let me tell you something. Whenever I make this, like in the past, I've made this for various things. And holy smokes, I I, I don't bring much home. I really don't. Now I'll say that today and I will. But okay, so then the light second can of kidney beans. Again, they're drained. Now when I make this the real way, you bring, you use lima beans. But I didn't buy lima beans because a lot of people are like, ew, lima beans. But they don't taste like lima beans in this. So I bought some red beans and I drained it. And then I bought some pinto beans. And I drained that. Okay. Now your flavor also comes from this. Then you have two cans of pork and beans. Well, I like to buy a nice one. This is brown sugar hickory baked beans. And I got the great value. I've never, whenever I used to eat these, 
I didn't buy the great value. I always bought the bushes, but and this is maple cured bacon. So these are going to have some good flavor. I'm hoping. So give me just a second. Okay, so we have beans, beans, beans. The hamburger will come in a minute. Onions being chopped. Bacon's in there. You use brown sugar, three-fourths cup of brown sugar and three-fourths cup of white sugar. I'm just dumping that in there. You don't have to like stir it all in. That's the beauty of crock pot cooking. So then the rest is two cups of ketchup. So let me check my onions because you do not want burned onions. Hang on. Okay, so my onion is done. I just put it in here to transport it from Bertha. <coughs> From Bertha to the crock pot. Now the last thing we have left to put in here. Well, no, we have the ketchup too, but I'm going to fry up the ground beef. Let's do the let's do the ground beef before we do the ketchup. Hang on. There we go. Going to kind of chop it up a little bit. And then we're just going to fry this up and make it ground, you know, ground beef. So that's what I'm going to work on. And then we'll add the ketchup in a minute. By the way, this is 80-20 ground beef. So I don't know if I said it or not, but it's 80-20 ground beef. You can get whatever kind you want to. I just thought, well, that's a good, that's a nice ratio for a baked bean type situation. Well, my co-worker said they call this cow, uh, cowboy beans, so I'm sure it has a lot of names. I've heard calico beans, and she said cowboy beans, and but anyway, so, all right, I'm going to finish getting this ground beef chopped up and cooked up. Okay, I'm still working on the ground beef, but it's getting closer. I had to change to a short sleeve shirt. It's getting hot in here, and it's not cold enough outside yet, so... Okay, it's getting close. So according to my Alexa, two cup is 16 fluid ounces. So I'm gonna put this on fluid ounces. I'll zero it out and when it says negative 16, I'll know that it's enough. This is 24 ounces. Please note this is regular ketchup. I am making this for the normies, the normal folks. And so um, I'm not using any of my stuff because we all know that there is aftertaste with our with our stuff and those people choose not to eat this way and I don't want to do anything that will upset their their body system. You know, some people can't handle sugar-free stuff and so All right, there we go. So, now it's all put together. I would like to use I'll use a spoon that I'm not going to take with me. I need it to be sturdy. This will work. So now I'm just going to turn this on low and I'm going to mix it all up. I really don't even have to mix it up because, as you know, the crock pot will kind of do its own thing. It does its own mixing. But I do want to mix it up a little. Now, I have never made these and not tasted it. So this is a new experience for me. But, um, yeah, because I, I am not going to taste these. Um, I'm just, that's just my decision. And um, like I said, if you if you do dabble dabble in non low carb foods, then definitely give these a try because let me tell you something, amazing. So all right, so now I'm going to take this off or pull this out. I'm going to cover it again. I got it on low, and it's just going to sit here on low until I leave. Before I do, let me tell you a little something about beans. People ask, do I eat beans? Well, here's an example. A half cup of pinto beans is 110 calories and 20 carbs. Five fiber, so 15 carbs in just a piddly half cup, which is 130 grams. So here's kidney beans. That's 130 grams, 120 calories, and 21 carbs with five fiber so 16 carbs. So you can spend your carbs however you like. 
I just am sharing this with you. Now, let it, oh, let's look at um, sugars. Um, well, the pinto beans and kidney beans, they have less than one and one added sugar. Now, let's go for this one. You know, the ones that taste good. They have 10 grams of added sugar. These are 28 total carbs, 158, 150 calories, 28 total carbs and seven fiber. So 21 carbs in these, total carbs in these. And 11 grams of sugar, 11 grams of total sugar, but 10 grams of added sugar. So you make your own decision, but I choose not to eat beans. So that's just how I do it. So, all right, well, let's get on to making our bacon salad. Got my rutabaga peeled or uh, boiled and it's in here. So now I'm going to do my eggs. I'm going to go ahead and put those in here and then we will do our, our sauce. Or dressing, whatever you call it. Okay. So I'm going to go on and get these done. So now I'm going to make the sauce or dressing for the rutabaga salad. And um, I am not doing measurements. This is a large amount of rutabaga. So I'm gonna be using a lot of stuff. So it will not be measurements. I don't even know how much it will take to coat all of the rutabaga. I'm not going to stand here and fight my mayonnaise, so we're going to open up another mayonnaise jar. Okay, so let's do some more mayonnaise. So we'll stop with that. <coughs> Set that over there so I can wash that off later. We ain't got that kind of time. All right, so we have some no sugar added sweet relish. I'm going to shake this down to the lid end. I have more if I need it. <clears throat> then some sugar-free G. Hughes honey mustard. Some people like the taste of mustard in their, in their, uh, you know, their pasta, their salad. <clears throat> you could also use this as a pasta salad. You could use the, or without on pasta. Maybe that's what I was thinking I was going to do with jicama. I don't know. Then I have some G. Hughes high, pineapple ginger. This is not at my Walmart, but, um, this was sent to me by my lovely lady. Hang on, uh, cause you know I can't, Gina Drummond. This was sent to me by Gina Drummond. So I'm gonna put a little of that in there. And then I don't have celery, so I'm gonna put in a little bit of celery seed. I don't know, maybe about a teaspoon or half a teaspoon. I'm gonna put in some salt. I did salt them as they boiled. And then a little bit of pepper, a little black pepper. And I'm also going to use some of this old basin seasoning that my mama brought me. If you're from the, I don't remember where mom went. It was somewhere up in northeast Missouri. Or I mean, northeast United States. But if you're from that area and you know what this seasoning is, comment down below and tell me. Tell me if you've had this before. But on the on the bot the container it says it's good in potato salad, so that's why I'm adding it. <clears throat> Let's get this mixed together. While I can't taste the my calico beans, I can taste this. <clears throat> All right, let's take a clean spoon and give it a taste. It's mayonnaise-y. It's good. Maybe a little more of this pineapple ginger.
kind of had a bite like a mayonnaise twang, which, you know, it's got mayonnaise in it. So it will. Let's try again. Let's see here. Use a spoon. Try this one. Because to be honest, I don't normally just eat a mouthful of it. Oh, let's do this. Let's put a piece of rutabaga on it. Yup. Man, oh man, oh man. If y'all ain't making this, I don't know what you're doing with your life. So I'm not going to pour all of it on, but I'll pour a lot of it on. And then I'll mix it up and see what I think. I have a feeling I will need all of it. <laughs> this ain't for me, so I gotta toss that. You know, if it was for me, I'd just put that little dealy back in my back in the bowl, but this is not for me, so we have to be on our best behavior with this. Why you saw me wearing gloves with certain things. Yep, I'm going to add the rest of it. There's still some moisture down in the bottom of this, <clears throat> of this bowl because <clears throat> I drained the rutabaga, but you know there's always a little bit left over <clears throat> of liquid in there. Now, let me tell you about this. When you take this somewhere, you take the lid off before people come up to eat because there is, you know, it is in the cabbage family. So this will have a, an, an odor similar to cabbage. So make sure you don't just wait till everybody's all around and at the table be when you take this lid off of your, of your bag of salad. All right, let's give this a taste and see what we think. We already know, but you know, you know, I can't taste the beans, so I can taste this one. Let's get a bite of egg and make sure I got a little pickle in there. Let's see what we think. It's good. Yep. So, all right. You know what I'll do is I'll take a clean towel and we'll wipe out the inside a little bit just to make it look a little nicer before I take it. And I'll put the lid on it and I'll put it in the refrigerator. And uh, so I'll take this and I'll take my beans. And that's what we made today.